Hello, everybody! Woo! Wednesday, Wednesday! Waterbox Live! We're here! What's up? Share the stream. We made it! We made it! <laughs> it's Wednesday! I don't know. It's the favorite day of the week! <laughs> and we are sharing it with you, everybody. Yay! Man, we got a lot going on around here, guys. We do. We're always doing something. Golly, man. Between the battles and breaking tanks down and moving stuff and... Mm -hmm. And it continues on today. Uh, it continues on because we want to show you we got something up our sleeve, right? So um, the 28 Frag has been a great tank. Yeah, we highlighted that a while back for the Rock Nim, mm -hmm. um tank and build, and it's been doing amazing. The Rock mm -hmm. Nims are getting big, and I think they're even reproducing a bit because we seem to be getting more of them in there. Mm -hmm. um, so we thought about moving it over. Give them a bigger home. Give, give them, them a bigger home. Give them a bigger home. Better mm -hmm. tank than our Frag 80.4. Um, we took some of the corals out. We moved some things around mm -hmm. um, to make room so that we can take the rocks with the rock nems in it into the bigger tank. Yes, yeah. So we took out some. Mm -hmm. There's some just some kind of generic corals and regular stuff in there. Um, we cleaned it up, moved uh, all those out, and we're gonna replace it with the mm -hmm. rock nems from mm -hmm. the other one. So and then re aquascape it and make it a nice, beautiful four foot rock nem tank now. And we're not gonna mm -hmm. lie, Jess. We're a little sad that we're losing our I beautiful am, twenty eight. I am very, frag. very, yes. very. very very sad about yes. this because I think the 28 frag with the black <laughs> gravel and the rock nem thing is one of my favorite systems. Um, but it's just, it's time, I guess. It's, it's time. time to, for an upgrade. It's it time is. for the And upgrade. something cool with our frag up in the front um, lobby. So it's going to look really, really nice with those big rock nems Dude, in look there. at that starfish just hanging out. He's just like, pow. Yeah, and there's one on the other back wall too. Yeah. Dude, it's awesome. <laughs> so the tanks are doing really good and it's just, Time to do something. Yeah, we're also going to install the NIOS torque reactor today, also on this tank. Yes. It's going to be very exciting. It's going to filtration so upgrade. We got a lot of people in here. Man, we got Rob, so Kelly, Mike. What's up, guys? So let's discuss. It's not a coincidence that we're highlighting the frag because it is our birthday sale that we have yes. going on, mm. doing 10% off all the frag systems. Yeah. We figured <coughs> might as well revamp the one we have here, showcase Dude, love it. Um, love and it. it is, you know, what we're highlighting this month. You can so. buy it online, you can buy it at your local retailer. Just decide where you want to go it and go pick you up a frag. Listen, You're going to save a, quite a bit of money. The shallow reef, that's it. It's, it doesn't get, I mean, it doesn't get the attention. I mean, it is such a beautiful tank. It's mm -hmm. so unique. It's so... It's so versatile. Like, you could do yeah. so many things. Like we, I mean, we call it the frag series. So people think it's just like for a frag tank and you got your frag racks and just right. for aqua skin. But we've done, I mean, you got shallow reef. I've seen mm -hmm. SBS tanks in these. Um, you know, there's so many options with it. It's just basically, like I said, a shallow reef, and it's just a really nice presentation and love beautiful. It. Absolutely, love it. And so. short people like myself can actually look down in a tank. Mm -hmm. it looks good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for tall people like me, I love the the vantage point that I get from it. Because yes. when you're standing up at it, you're actually looking down in it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Devin says, "Beauty, one big rock flower tank." Yes. It's gonna be it's awesome. Gonna, yeah, it's gonna be pretty, pretty awesome. So um, we're gonna fill up that sucker, and we're gonna show you how we do it. Um, First thing guess, we need to do is yeah. take some NEMS out of the 28. So we'll go and uh, take a look, kind of update, show how those are doing, and get them moved out mm -hmm, of there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Travis is giving the thumbs up on YouTube. And then somebody also asked, is it, can you confirm that the water box stands are white or actually black on the inside? The uh, new new version is. There's yep. black mm -hmm. internal panels. Uh, from the That's outside, true. you do not see any of the black interior on the white. Yep. It's when the doors are closed. It's just internal surfaces. It actually um, gives you a better better finish and better long-term yeah. everything. So it's an improvement in this, the cabinet design. Yep. So don't worry. If you get a black interior, it's a-okay. I actually think it looks really hot looks when hot. you open up that white cabinet Come and it's on, black it inside. Does. I <laughs> like it a lot. Yes, um, it does. Yeah. So, yeah, just... <laughs> All the newest models do have the black interior. All right, so let us go to, the, to frag. the frag tank and let's move some stuff around. Pull some ends. Let's roll. Man, Ken Brown says, man, maybe we should change the name of the frag to the shallow. Uh, yeah, I mean, it can do it could anything. Be could be really, really great. <laughs> man, so. So we gotta do a little camera change. Little gotta camera do a camera change. change. Walking right. around the office with corals. Also, and find the camera change. Also, this tank, everybody, if they weren't here on Friday to see, we've got uh, the rainbow bottom anemone that everybody's been talking about. We've got it. 
and it's right here. Yeah, so we did, we showed it kind of briefly mm -hmm. on Friday, um, but it's in here and it's actually going to go live in the 80.4 frag as well. Mm -hmm. um, and he's been really happy and doing good, so. Oh, he just, look, he just closed up. All right, system is off because we are going to drain water out of here, but give you a top-down shot. I mean, look at of, that top-down, guys. Look at that. I mean, this tank has just been doing so well. The, the rock gnomes are happy as can be. Um, and I'm, I know that I've counted more than we put in, so I feel yeah. that we do have... It's doing good. Um, yeah, some babies that have popped up, and it's going to look really nice up front. Yeah, now look at this right there. Look, that's the rainbow bottom anemone right there he's inside that. He's all closed that. right now. He's, he's closed up, but... Foot. It's so cool looking with man, the dots look at how cool stuff. that is. And Unique Corals hooked us up with that one. It's one of the, you know, mm -hmm. brand new to the, the hobby. Right, now the, we need to let everybody know right, uh, that we can do this because both tanks are established. Yes. The bacteria is on the rocks in here, so we're taking this rock that's, everything is cured, it's doing well, so we're just gonna move it straight over. Yeah, so we're not, we're not disrupting anything. Right, it's not um, a brand new tank that I'm just dumping this in. Right, so basically this rock's going to replace rock that was already in there, it's mm -hmm. all established, we're just moving from one established system to another. Yeah. Um, so it's actually a really easy transfer, and we're just mm -hmm. basically, then uh, this tank's gonna come down, I believe. Yeah, I think we're going to take this tank down, uh, make room for some new stuff that we got coming. Oh, guys, doing... this is also the 28 frag. So if you're looking for an all-in-one frag, we have these available. Um, great, great size. 24 by 24. Really, really nice. Also the black cabinet. We also got the sticker on it. It's awesome. Yeah. This tank has actually been really easy to maintain. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been an all-in-one. I mean, it's been really nice um, to just maintain it, and everything's been mm -hmm. so happy. You got the plus light on it, and uh, like I said, I, I am sad to see this tank go. Yeah, this is kind of your favorite. But it's, the, the rock numbs are at least staying with us and just going over to our tank. Yeah, but as cool. you can tell, I'm partial to the black, black on black theme. <laughs> yeah, it's very cool. <laughs> So very, I'm just pouring cool. some water out of the bucket so we can throw the rocks in, take them over to the other frag, and do some aquascaping with them. But look how beautiful they are. It looks There's nice. So I ain't gonna lie, Jess. The, the colors are fantastic. It's a nice. I think this will be just as nice over in the new frag. It will. It'll look really nice. If you come in one day and I magically have switched it to black sand <laughs> in the frag, don't hate me. No worries. No worries. But I do love the look of it. They're just so easy to kind of take care of too. They're kind of just. They're really easy and hardy, and they're super easy to feed, yeah, man, you know, chunks of krill, mysis. Um, Love that. Not really temperamental at all. It's fantastic. Then we'll have to do some other cool stuff in the, the 80 frag to go along with these and really mm -hmm. give that a nice makeover look to it. Yeah. Also, this rainbow bottom anemone is going to look sick right when you first walk in our lobby in the frag tank. Mm -hmm. Bam, right It'll there. Filled in real nice. Yeah, be let's awesome. see if our existing clowns decide to jump yeah. into hey, the, I've seen them the rainbow bottom does uh, host yeah. enemies, uh, clownfish. So um, hopefully one or two of those guys will decide to call it a home. Mm -hmm. And um, just a little bit more water, and then we're just gonna plop these rocks right in the bucket, take them on over, and then put them into the new tank. Yeah, so awesome. The top down view is just so nice. Yeah, and we get the same exact view of these yep. with the 80. Um, which I think these guys viewed top down is probably the prettiest you can get for. Yeah, that's the at best these. right here, guys. Anybody, we got anybody in here, Rich? We got oh people. yeah, yeah. If you guys have any questions, post them below. I'll try to get to them. Um, we got Devin with us, knives. Ken. Um, I lose some of my. So we'll take the rod comments here as Rainbow I switch bottom out last. Facebook. These guys own tray, and really all. So they're all stuck onto that rock. They ain't coming off of there. No, they're they're gonna transfer pretty. Pretty easy. We're just going to put them in a bucket with some water. Try not to smush each other too much because this is going to be a quick, we're just going to pretty much just Move walk them on over to mm -hmm. the frag. And almost every rock in here has some of them on it. And we even have some that are living, living life in the sand. I'll have to pull those up actually. We're going mm -hmm. for a ride. Going for a little ride. Well, I bet these guys won't even know we've done anything to them. Probably. Just gonna go to new tank. <laughs> and be happy. 
This one's got a couple. We have two or, or maybe even four of them that are in the sand bed. Oh, we do have our little crabbies in here, and we'll move them over. Little porcelain crabs. Yeah. But we won't worry about them for right now. So these guys here, like we have, well, it looks like four of them in the sand. They've actually put their foot all the way to the bottom of the tank. What we'll do is we actually can take your nail and pull them off the bottom glass. There's your rock on. Bam, look at that. So I'm going to put them in the, put these in the tray. Watch this. And He's like, don't touch me. Yeah, Boom. Yeah, you have to be real gentle on their foot because you can, uh, like with an you don't want to hurt them, yeah. I mean, you can actually tear their foot and they don't, you know, not the happiest thing. Look at that little guy. So we'll put these in here since they're loose and we'll take them over in the container. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. We'll break this tank down later today. All right, this one's for you, Benny, so we can just actually carry these over to look, both of our little porcelain bowls right here. Oh, yeah, look at those little crabs. So we can just take this right on over to the frying and we'll start to. Uh, okay. Get them in there. Oh, yeah. Use them up. Gun show. Come on now, everybody. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. I went there. <laughs> yeah. Come on now. Listen, let's get, let's get some excitement up in here. Yes, yes, yes. Right, so put these in. And then. All right. So we do want to shut the pump off. Yes. So we're going to yes. unplug the pump and remove a couple gallons of water from this system just because we are going to be putting in rock and moving stuff around. We don't want to uh, backflow too much water into the sump by chance. So we'll take out just a couple gallons to offset the extra rock that's coming in here because we're not sure how much is, uh, of the rock itself is going to get pulled out. Can you pull on the uh, pump cord? Skimmer? In the skimmer? Yeah, just because the skimmer okay. can actually bubble up too much when your sump shuts off just because the water level increases. So turning that off just helps you possibly overflow your, not overflow your protein skimmer. All right, system is down and probably the Nero too. Shut the Nero down? You can just unplug it on that side. Okay. All right, quick water out. All right. Now that will so shut the system in out. here, yeah. So in here, we did have uh, we have a couple corals that are attached to the rock. It's mostly just like uh, little leathers. We're gonna leave them in here, but besides that, it's gonna be pretty much we're gonna just design the rock to be for the rock nems. But we do have a couple right. so we're gonna have corals to take some that of were them attached. Out, right? So we'll end up taking some of the rock out. We can probably, if you want to take like the two middle ones, the two the two middle pieces out. Well, actually, the top one here because it has no coral on it, and like. There's like two smaller ones that have no coral attached to them at all. That one has a Yuma. Just throw it in here. Okay. And then find one or two more pieces. So just a little bit of rearranging here today. Make this tank look awesome. I don't know if you'll take any more out. That I coral's that on one. there, so I'm going to leave that. Guy That's fine. There. We can always put those back in if we decide. Main thing is going to be just kind of set uh -huh. it up to showcase the rock them. So, like this one here has like the leather and a few other hitchhiker corals on it, and kind of keep that off to the side, maybe. I'm not really sure what we're going to do, but I don't want to disturb them too much. the biggest ones that have some enemies on them. Let's see what happens. It's interesting. Devin Rich says those, those rainbow bottom anemones in Japan, they're just called green sea anemones. <laughs> and they're just basic stuff yeah. over there. It's, yeah. It's interesting how a coral that's relatively common in a certain country can come to another country and turn into like okay. a designer. <laughs> I was like, I can't go there. Um, 
Yeah, it is, and like, there's actually like that a lot of times with the fish in this in this, in this hobby too. Is like some of the angels and stuff like that that we never see actually are really common over in Japan, China, and stuff like that. Um, and f to, but to us, it's like a really rare sighting mm -hmm. to see them. It's all about supply and where it's collected at. Take this rock and put it out. Well, this is kind of like a big chunky base rock, so I think we're gonna use that to the back here. But I still want to keep it to where we have like some caves and crevices and keep it still somewhat archy. If that's a word. Rob says, "Why do you turn the pump in this? <coughs> basically, the pumps off." Um, is it gonna help us just kind of? See a little bit better, and um, this is the big also for show piece here. filming, it's going to be a lot easier. Mm -hmm. This is a great piece. Travis oh, says, yeah. "The more I look at this, the tougher the decision is between the hundred point three and this." Ooh, I actually have two people here. Mike's also getting a little bit excited about either this or the one thirty point four. Mm, yeah, I can tell you, it's a good time to get one. <laughs> you can get yeah. both because you're saving ten percent. I mean, that's a big discount on these these items. Yeah. Yeah, when you think of overall cost, ten percent is actually a really, really good discount on these. And like honestly, like here, I think this is probably one of our favorite systems in this office because it's just mm -hmm. such a cool look. Um, and you know, it's not just a frag system; you can really do anything you want with it. Um, but it's just something that just catches your eye. Now I'm gonna say this is not probably how it's gonna stay. Once it like gets settled in, I'll probably end up moving some stuff around, but we'll see. A lot of times I say that and then it ends up. Some little hitchhiker crabs. Actually a lot more rock um, coming over from the Nem tank than I thought. But like these guys, like half of them, they're not even closing at all. They really just do not seem to care that we're completely moving them around. <coughs> they don't tell you. They're filling up a lot more than I thought they would. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, this rock is taking up a lot more space than I thought it would, so there may be some serious changing and rearranging going on whenever this is all said and done. What you guys seen is, are seeing is real. Dean is mopping the floor. Come on now. While don't, we're live. Don't <laughs> show my wife. It does happen. <laughs> don't this let her really see this. This is really happening. So, happening Heather, <laughs> I'd like don't. you to know that this is possible. Come on. <laughs> this can happen at home. <laughs> all right. All right. Is that all of them? That's it, yeah. Now, I also have the rainbow uh, NEM that's got to go in. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can go get that. Bring that. Travis says, how dare you tempt me? Okay, I'll get both. <laughs> there you go. There you go, man. <laughs> that's They'll the match best perfectly solution. right next to each other. All right, so we're still kind of keeping the same shape. It's a little bit taller now. Um, like I said, we'll see if we end up keeping it. I kind of think of... Actually, like, if we can get the ra rainbow bottom anemone to sit, like, right here, that would be really nice. So maybe these are going to get moved over this way. I'm thinking, hold this. Hold what? This, the tray. <laughs> hold the tray. Yeah. I'm trying to get the rainbow bottom anemone pulled up. Same thing with this guy, fingernail, under his foot. I'm actually pulling them out of this tray. There he is. So cool looking. I love the spots on him. So, in theory, if I could get him to sit right there, yeah, that'd be that would awesome. be fantastic. Um, and enemies can move and have a mind of their own, so that's, who knows. Um, but that'd be nice what if he was right ones? center, yeah. So, cool thing with rock nems is they don't move a lot like your traditional anemone. So, like, I can take this guy who's loose, Pretty much just kind of press them into like a little indent. And usually in a couple minutes, their foot starts to attach and they are pretty much staying in that spot. They might move an inch or two here or there, but they don't really move much. So I just fill these guys in where they're missing a few. I'm gonna just put one like over here. We just got one more. Fill in some color or some of the spots that don't really have rock nims. I think that's all for this. There you go. I'm 
front and center ones. Come through. If you guys aren't in the group already, head over to our Facebook group. Uh, just hop on Facebook, search Waterbox Aquariums group, and yeah. you should be able to pull it up pretty quick. Do people have to post some awesome pictures of their tanks in there? Mm -hmm. Quite a few frags and stuff in there, too, mm -hmm. of the series. And uh, like I said, we've seen SBS ones, we've seen actual frag systems. Um, mm -hmm. But the shallow reef seems to be the most popular use of uh, the series because it is just such a nice look. So I'm going to be honest with you, I kind of like what you did here. You kept it off the back wall. Yeah, it's still kind of centered. Right down the center. And I still want to do something else unusual with this around around the rock work, things on the sand or, or something just to kind of even make it pop more. So this is kind of keeping like almost like a raceway down the middle. Good flow. Good we'll stay flow. in here. Yeah. And uh, lots of color. It's going to look really good. And then figure yeah. out the blue lights come on. It's all going to pop. That'd be really nice. And they'll figure out something cool to do on the sand. Yeah, it'd be stuff. interesting to see if these clowns host inside that NEM. Right that there. would be awesome. So we're also, you're going to install. Yeah, so real easy, man. The, the NIOS torque reactors, there's also tons of space inside the cabinets of all the water box systems. Um, if you come down in here, so if you're the first time you're actually looking inside one of our filtration systems, um, all the plumbing's included with these systems, so it's really easy plug and play, no gluing required. It takes like five minutes five tops. Five minutes, yeah. And then uh, it comes with these Micron socks that you can put in there, really, really nice. There's two of them. Then there's a huge chamber here in the middle for your protein skimmer. We recommend the Quantum uh, series from NIOS. Really, really great. Dean, tell me about the clean socks. Listen, always <laughs> gotta have some fresh socks, man. Always clean socks. It's the Dean difference. It's the Dean difference, man. You gotta <laughs> swap the socks out, put some fresh socks in there, man. You always gotta fresh socks every day. So, <laughs> there's plenty of space for the heater in here as well. And then also, this reservoir up here is for our fresh water top off water, right? So the tank's gonna evaporate water, so we need to be able to pump that water over into the pump chamber in the back. And there's a sensor there, so um, you do have to buy this aftermarket, the electronic auto top off, but it's a great addition uh, so this thing is kind of running seamlessly for you. I mean, you, you get such a big sump with this size tank. Oh, like, it is huge. It's, uh, I mean, there's more than enough room for skimmer reactors, heaters like everything in that middle chamber mm -hmm. and then you get dual socks um like it's tons of space yeah. like tons so plenty of space you can see i pushed that back so i'm actually going to install the uh torque reactor really really neat uh thing this is very very popular right now everybody's been talking about this here's the base it's literally just a simple base right it goes into any uh, system. Yep. And they have three different uh, reactor chamber sizes, right, Dean? Yeah. And, they all, and they all use the same base. They all use the same base. So it makes it real, real simple. And another cool thing about that is like you can buy two reactor mm -hmm. chambers, even if they're the same size. And like when you're changing out your media, you got to dump it all out and yeah. clean it. Like you can have them ready to go. You take one off, pop mm -hmm. the other one in, yeah. and you, know, you don't like have a to hot take, swap. You don't have to yeah. take the whole unit yeah. out. And yeah, clean, you're you know, just pulling the one out, putting the new one in, and then you can clean the other one later. Yeah, they're so really nice. This is the, the chamber, right? So what happens is you can put your media inside this chamber. It's real easy to, to do. It just The top comes right off. The bottom is. There's a, a gauge here on the bottom. Actually, it tells you for your flow speed. So it kind of, you know, closed all the way to open. You turn the so, reactor. And you'll see that there's a mark on the reactor here. See that purple mark? So that purple mark is going to be your indicator of where you are on your flow rate. Really, really nice. So what I did is I used Max Out in here. Awesome product. Love it. Max Out. Max Out. Baby. Max Out. Come on. <laughs> so we put it inside the chamber. It's really great. And this is going to keep, it's got carbon, it's got um, uh, like a clarifier in it. Really, really nice. And we're just going to put this in there. And this thing just locks in. If I can line it up. Cool thing about this is it pushes the water up and then actually cascades over the reactor so it doesn't create a lot of turbulence in the sump. You're not yeah. going to get like air bubbles or like an output jutting in one area. It's a really nice Just smooth like, like overflow waterfall Right, type. so the water's going to get pushed up and over the sides. So it's a nice little cascade. It's going to fluidize that media in there. Water's going to stay crystal clear. And it's just cool. I freaking love it. All right, is so, the plug through? The plug is through. I wish I had off. that reactor years ago. When oh, I was dude, that reactor was? Yeah. Tanks. I mean, the, the, I would definitely have at least two of the reactor chambers on hand. Oh, yeah, totally. 
totally. It saves you so much time. There it goes. So what happens is it fills up the chamber and it'll over cascade over. I need to put some LED lights on the inside here of this cabinet. Yeah, it does. And it needs a little extra. And there it goes. See that? Yeah, so we decided Fully to put a reactor onto this system because with moving all these rock NEMs over, um, you know, we're going to feed a lot more now that we have a bigger tank for them so we can get them to get bigger and reproduce. Mm -hmm. So the reactor is going to help keep that water even cleaner. The max out is going to take care of phosphates and pretty much just clarify and keep everything nice and clean. So, so add that to a great. skimmer and this tank's going to be flawless. So we can fire this thing back up, Jess. Turn it back on. Watch the nozzles down. Uh, turn this on here. Get the skimmer. All right, we have a little extra water on hand in case we need it. The turn pump. Look how fast we do this. Lightning fast. We're good at this. <laughs> Come on now. You've done it a few times. A few times. I feel like we've done this a few times. And there we go. Now the water will fill up. I might have to readjust the position of the Nero. Yeah, I'm going to probably have to move it because it, since it is so centered for the rock yeah. work, we might put it towards the back so it kind of spins around to the front and keeps That's everything true. clean. Um, we'll have to adjust that and probably play with the speed a little bit. Change our intensity on the lights, possibly, just because we are adding different. I mean, before we basically just had some softy corals in here. It's right. real basic. So now we're going to rock nems and have some more stuff. And I'm gonna unplug the ATO because it is topping off for us. Boop. Boop. Nope. So now the skimmer's running, reactor's running, the tank is back up. We're gonna add some more water in here because it is running low from what we took out just to be safe earlier. So we're just adding some salt water back in from what we removed. And plus with adding the reactor, we did uh, pull extra water into the reactor body too from the sump. So kind of just equal it all out and let it run. But most of rock nams, you couldn't even tell that we moved them. It's a little cloudy in there, but uh, besides that, they're all open and seem pretty happy mm -hmm. already. Already doing great. I'm gonna move this down just a hair. It's gonna look good. All right, I'm all right with it. I think it looks great. <laughs> I mean, it's really, I mean. Yeah, and next week we'll have to do, uh, maybe add some more stuff into it, or? I think we need also another the 40 got... rock nems. Another 40 <laughs> rock nems. I want to do something yeah. around the rock, so the rock stays like kind of centered with them, see what we can kind of come up with. and. But another thing that's really great, guys, is that the cabinetry on these frag systems has the UV coating on them. So the if, they wood, get, yeah. if they get a little water on them, it's all right, man. It just wipes right off. Right. This thing's not yep. going to swell up on you. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's real plywood cabinets. Yeah. Come on, man. They're really nice coating that, I mean, it's gonna, these cabinets are going to last you a really, really long yeah. time. Really You're going to be buying a new aquarium before you have to worry about <laughs> our cabinets uh, having Serious. problems. So. Yeah, you'll be already ready for your upgrade before you even have to worry about uh, anything falling apart. Yeah, so it's really great. It just wipes down real easy. Love it. So it looks good. So looks great. And there's still plenty of room. Like, we can actually move the skimmer and the reactor a little bit away from each other, have easy access to that skimmer still. And there's still room. We could even put more equipment in there. It's crazy. Dude, awesome. Awesome. Guys, what do you love the most about the frag tank? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Because everybody has something like like different. You know, I think Rich likes the top. He likes to be able to... That top I always down like view. that top-down vantage point. And you know what's yeah. funny is I was sitting in the chairs the other day, yeah. day, too, and when you're sitting down, this has the perfect eye level to it. That's right. And then when you're yeah. standing up next to it, you get that really nice yeah. top-down uh, look, so you can see the colors really popping on the, the uh, corals. And there's just certain types of coral or things like these, the rock nems, that look so much better top-down. And in a normal height aquarium, you just... I mean, on a ladder, I guess you get the top-down yeah. look, but not in the everyday look, you know, appearance. You know, also, I mean, Jess Stewart, our own Jess Stewart here on East Coast Sales, just got a three-foot frag. Yeah. Yep. She uh, yesterday. took it home yesterday <laughs> and yeah. got it set up and going. She's setting it up um, at her house. Yeah, she's, she's like, man, I love the tank so much. I'm putting one in my own house. Yeah. It really is a great system. Often overlooked. Often overlooked. But I'm telling you, this thing is hot, man. It's hot. So as everyone think of our rock nems, I think everything looks pretty good. Um, we'll get it cleared up and we'll have to do an update photo. Yeah, we'll do an on update it. photo once this thing uh, clears Our up. Our lobby just got even more colorful between these other two tanks. and. Yeah. Kelly's asking, did you say the 80.4 now comes with the black interior? 
Yes. Yes. So the all the cabinet. newest mm -hmm. cabinets um, do have a black interior and mm -hmm. the white exterior. Yeah. Like I said, Love. it looks really nice when you open it up too, though. Man, that's straight fire right there, boys. Yeah. Let's Come go. on now. Fire. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Right, and just like that, just got an upgrade. Off the 90th episode of Water Slide. It looks good. It set does. Up a tank in like 10 minutes. I think we need a few more <laughs> fish in there. We need to get some fish in there. Do something with a sand bed, and that tank might man, rival even. Killer man! You know, I'm telling you, that's like so man. Let's talk, uh, about that. let's talk about that battle. Let's talk hey. about the battle because. Come on, man. It's we have the shirts for sale. Oh, you're going to show the Oh, show he's the showing it. Oh, yeah, I see. I see guys, how it is. I see how it is. I don't is. know if you guys can see it, but the, the water box logo is right up here. In the knife. In the knife. In the call knife. Call it the aggressive crab. And yeah, wow. so, you know, tune in on Friday, but shirts do equal extra votes for that person and mm. votes into the cube giveaway that we're doing. Um, we can go over those rules again on Friday for everybody. These shirts but are flying out the door, and I think that they're going to be a huge determining factor in the outcome it's of gonna this It's going to really sway the vote one way or another. Um, I mean. Team Jess is in the lead, so it's cool. It's Come whatever, on. man. It's whatever. <laughs> we're good. We're good. Order more shirts. This is craziness. <laughs> the tides well, can listen, turn. <laughs> Jess has the battle advantage. battle continues this Friday, everybody. If you, uh, at you, you definitely need to follow along. I mean, because it, it's getting a little intense right now. Yeah, yes, yeah, so this is gonna be an interesting week. So. I mean, listen, the aliens have landed here at the office. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's looking hot. Man. It's looking <laughs> so hot. I'm telling the, you, the tanks are looking really nice. It so really, really it's nice. It's gonna be a good episode. Do not miss it. Do Remember, not. we're live every Friday now. Yep, Friday at noon. So come on now, listen. It's all good. It's all we good. We have two favorite days of the week now: Wednesday mm. and Friday. Is Keenan ready? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's not. It's all, right. all good. <laughs> Listen, but we're going to be ready. Friday at noon, though, guys, 12 p.m. I'm waiting on the sign. Yeah. For Fish of the Week! Hey! Uh, there it is. There's always the question of how did it sound? How does it sound? I, I hope mean, it sounds good. Like it sound. <laughs> but we're talking about the Heniocus butterfly. Very beautiful. Did Jess pick this one? No. I picked it. What happened? <laughs> yeah. It, he, he didn't even ask me. I'm sitting there and he's like, this is the fish we're doing. I'm like, I thought I was picking, but okay, that's cool. Um, so I love this fish. But once again, it's not reef safe. <laughs> shocking. <laughs> a little shocking. It's sometimes referred to as the banner I've seen fish. them in reefs, but it's just a gamble, right? It's a total gamble. Oh, yeah. yeah the gamble, you're not going to win the gamble. You're, gonna you're win. not going to win that. You're going to lose like, the fight. So fish yeah. only. But it's a very peaceful fish. It is best in schools. I mean, I really love this fish. Um, you know, some, when people see it, they're like, they think saltwater right away. It is, and they're gorgeous. Like, the picture we have here shows a really short top fin, but as they get bigger, I mean, their top fin just trails. Mm. It's gorgeous. And you have a group of them, they'll school together, and that's why they call them the banner fish. That mm -hmm. top thing just waves. Um, mm -hmm. and they are a really beautiful fish, and they're super peaceful. They're just likely to try and eat your coral. Yeah. Top. But I like to call them as the hennies. The, the henny. Get you a henny. Get you a henny, man. Get you a henny. <laughs> get you a water box. And get, get you a henny. henny. Get you a henny, man. Put a henny in your box. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> It's all good, man. It's all good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Let's go on. Let's go on. Right. Let's get back on the, on the track. All Once right. again, everybody, stay tuned this Friday. The battle continues. You're not going to want to miss this. I mean, we're going to give you updates. We're going to show you. I mean, it's unbelievable. Good to see the tanks. Dude, it's awesome. Awesome. So thank you so much for tuning in. We will see you this Friday. See ya.